Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on angles in a triangle where one side is extended. So in both these diagrams we've got a triangle and then this side of the triangle AB is extended so that the line sort of juts out of the triangle and ABC we're told is a straight line. ABC is a straight line. Now if we want to find x in this diagram we just need to think about the angle laws we know. There's two angle laws that are relevant here. We know that angles on a straight line sum to 180 and we also know that the angles in a triangle sum to 180. Now I should really say for angles on a straight line about a point sum to 180. I'll explain what I mean by that. So let's first look at this point here and we know that angles around a straight line so this total angle here this total angle on the straight line about a point, so B, now if that total angle is 180 degrees, then we just need to do 180 minus 120 to find the remaining angle on this line, which is 60 degrees. So we now know that this angle here is 60 degrees, so that those two angles add up to 180. And now we can use this angle law here, the angles in a triangle sum to 180. So this is our triangle here, and those three angles inside the triangle add to 180. Now if we add these two, 50 plus 60 is 110. So these two angles combined come to 110. So all three of them add up to 180. So we just subtract that total from 180 and 180 minus 110 is 70 degrees. So x is equal to 70 degrees. So that's that question done. Now what about this one? Now we can't start this straight line here because we don't know what the angle y is. Um, however, we do know two of the angles in the triangle. So this time, we're going to use this angle theorem first, that angles in a triangle sum to 180. So if we've got these two angles and we want to find the third, we just add the two angles in the triangle, which comes to 145, and subtract that from 180, because the angles add up to 180 in a triangle, and that gives you 35 degrees. So we know that this angle here is 35 degrees, and now if we look at this straight line here and this point B, we know that the angles about the point B on that straight line, that total angle is 180. So we just need to do 180 minus that 35 and that gives you 145 degrees. So Y is 145. Now there's actually a quick way to do this. Can you notice that this angle of 145 here that y was is just the sum of the other two angles inside the triangle. So ignoring the angle just next to that 145, 145 is 60 plus 85. Just like in this triangle, if, we, if you ignore the 60 which is next to that 120 there, the 120 is just the 70 plus the 50. So that can save you some time when doing this kind of question.